2,4-dinitrophenol or DNP is the most dangerous weight loss drug I've ever seen. This drug causes blindness, skin lesions, and agranulocytosis at low doses, and hyperthermia and death at high doses. There's no antidote for DNP poisoning, and one in five people that present to the emergency room will die, making it just as deadly as cyanide. So where does DNP come from, how does it work, and why in the world are people still taking this drug? Let's get right into it. DNP was first used to manufacture explosives during the First World War. During this period, 36 French and 27 American munitions workers lost their lives from occupational exposure to this toxin. After it was discovered that DNP increased metabolic rate by scientists at Stanford University, doctors started prescribing DNP as a weight loss drug. From 1933 to 1938, 100,000 patients were treated with DNP before it was taken off the market due to unacceptable side effects. Even with careful dosing and under medical supervision, DNP caused cataracts, particularly in young women, jaundice, skin lesions, agranulocytosis, and of course, death. In 1938, the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act was passed by Congress, and the FDA included DNP in a list of compounds so toxic that they should not be used even under physician supervision. Fast forward to the present day, and fitness enthusiasts, bodybuilders, and general goofballs all over the globe continue to purchase DNP online from clandestine laboratories. Why, you ask? Well, the reason being that DNP is considered by many to be the most effective weight loss agent available. And it's also considered to be safe if dosed correctly. Are these claims true? To be honest with you, I'm a little bit skeptical. So before we can talk about the efficacy and safety of DNP, we need to talk about how DNP works. It all starts through oxidative phosphorylation, which is the process by which your body extracts energy from food. One of the most important steps in oxidative phosphorylation takes place inside the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. Here, electrons are shuttled through protein complexes that pump protons from the inner part of the mitochondria called the mitochondrial matrix into the outer part of the mitochondria called the intermembrane space. As pressure builds up from these protons being squeezed into the intermembrane space, they are pushed back into the matrix through a protein called ATP synthase. And like a turbine on a water dam, ATP synthase rotates and generates energy that is then stored as ATP, which then goes on to power all of the cellular processes in your body. This is where DNP comes in. So DNP disrupts this process by decoupling oxidative phosphorylation from ATP production, thus preventing you from being able to extract energy from food. It does this by transporting protons from the intermembrane space back into the matrix while bypassing ATP synthase. Now, instead of energy being stored as ATP, it gets converted to heat. So there are some natural ways that your body uses this process, particularly brown fat uses uncoupling proteins to produce heat, which babies and rodents take advantage of to keep themselves warm. However, DNP is not natural and has an extremely narrow therapeutic index, meaning that the dose that causes weight loss is very close to the dose that causes death. In case reports, as little as three tablets of DNP purchased online have resulted in overheating and death. Clearly, DNP is not safe, but is it at least effective? Let's get right into it. In order for a pharmaceutical to prove its efficacy, it needs to be studied in human clinical trials, preferably with a randomized control trial type design. Claiming that a drug is effective without running clinical studies is like selling a plane that has not been inspected. Maybe it will fly, maybe it won't. You really don't know. Unfortunately, DNP has not been studied in any type of clinical trial from my knowledge. All we have to go off of are stories told by people online which have mixed results. Clearly, DNP increases metabolism, but it also seems to make people eat more, thus offsetting any of the weight loss benefits you might get. It also seems to negatively impact exercise tolerability and sleep, which could also have a negative impact on body composition. 
Overall, there is no clinical efficacy data and there are mixed anecdotes online, which tells me that DNP is probably not very effective as a weight loss agent. On the other hand, there are multiple FDA approved molecules that are both safe and effective. Drugs like injectable semaglutide, bupropion with naltrexone have been studied in phase one, two, and three clinical studies. The data generated by these studies have been reviewed by experts and these drugs have been granted approval by the FDA and Health Canada for treating obesity. Notably, 2.4 milligrams of the GLP-1 receptor agonist semaglutide taken once weekly caused a sustained 28 pound loss in body weight when compared to placebo, making it potentially the most effective weight loss drug on the market. In addition, the safety of semaglutide has been demonstrated in some of the sickest, most vulnerable populations, including those with diabetes, heart disease, and kidney disease. So why would you risk your life with DNP when something like semaglutide is more effective, it's safer, and it's manufactured in legitimate laboratories that have pharmaceutical grade quality control. Because with DNP, quality control is also a big issue. You really don't know what you're getting when you buy it online. It might be DNP, it might not. It might be 100 milligrams, it might be 50 milligrams. It might be 200 milligrams. There's really no way of knowing. And even if you do get DNP, even if you do dose it correctly, you could get any number of severe side effects that were observed from the 1930s, such as blindness, skin lesions, and a granulocytosis. And even then, you really don't know if DNP will be able to give you a sustained weight loss and improved body composition, given the increased appetite and decreased exercise tolerance and sleep associated with this agent. Anyways, that's all I have to talk to you about today. I thought this was an interesting topic. Decoupling oxidative phosphorylation is something that is continuing to be studied for treating obesity and various neurodegenerative disorders, but there are really no uncoupling agents that are ready for prime time at the present moment. In addition, for 100% of people, the risks of DNP outweigh the benefits. If you're looking for a safe and effective weight loss agent, I would encourage you to speak with your doctor, pharmacist, or nurse practitioner. Uh, there are many good options available, and at the end of the day, it's really not worth risking your life over losing a couple pounds. So thank you for watching, appreciate it very much. Of course, if you're looking for high quality pharmacy services, visit Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy, the number one pharmacy in the city of Toronto. We do COVID vaccines, we do COVID tests, including antigen tests and PCR tests for travel. We offer all different types of pharmaceutical services as well. So visit Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.